Hey, good morning. Welcome to a Rising Shine Church on the Web Daily Devotion for Monday, April 26, 2021. And we begin another incredible work week. The weather's nice outside. I just looked out. It's pretty. And so we're excited about uh, being able to do what God wants us to do the week of the 24th or the 26th of April. Amen. Anyway, our scripture this morning comes from Ephesians chapter 4, verses 31 and 32. And in that we read this. Let me get it right. Make a clean break with all cutting, backbiting, profane talk. Be gentle with one another, sensitive. Forgive one another as quickly as and thoroughly as God in Christ forgave you. Amen. The title of our devotion this morning is Breaking Free of Unforgiveness. Who do you spend the most time thinking about? Those you love. Maybe, but there may be another group of people who fill your thoughts, sometimes daily, those who have hurt you. You may replay their misdeeds over and over again, and often, the more you think about them, the angrier you get. The angrier you get, the more hurt you feel, and the more hurt you feel, the more blame you place on the offender. However, you can, for, you can give forgiveness even when there's no apology even when the offender never asked to be pardoned. However, forgiveness doesn't mean an automatic renewal of friendship or trust. You can forgive an offense, but if the offender doesn't change his or her behavior, they may not be brought into a close confidence again. You should forgive as God forgave you to prevent a bitter root from springing up in your heart. You can find that in Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 15. Are you willing to let go of the offenses you're holding on to? I will tell you that the longer you hold on to these offenses, the more it consumes you, and the more it consumes you, the less you're able to move forward. The Bible says forgive as Jesus forgave you. We had just read that, amen? So that just know that if you can let it go, You don't have to be friends with them no more. There's no requirement for that. But you do have to forgive, uh, just as Jesus has forgiven you. Pray with me this morning. Dear God, please help me forgive those who have hurt me or done me wrong. And give me wisdom as to how much I should trust them in the future. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Hey, a new memory verse this week. We're excited. So our memory verse this week comes out of 1 John chapter 5, 2 verses, 11 and 12. And this is what it says. It says, And this is the testimony that God has given us eternal life, and this life is in His Son. He who has the Son has life. He who does not have the Son of God does not have life. 1 John 5, 11 and 12. Listen, God bless you. Have an incredible week. Have a wonderful day in the Lord. Remember, Jesus loves you. This I know, for the Bible tells me so. And I'll see you tomorrow morning.